Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will discuss how to install Quantum Espresso in our Ubuntu 2022. Uh, so we assume that you have followed all the instructions about the installations that we uh, presented in previous video. And then this will allow us to install Quantum Espresso, which is uh, a density functional theory code. It's a free, it's written in Fortran. Uh, it reached to version seven and is, it's uh, quite a uh, well-developed uh, software package. So we go to Google and type Quantum Espresso, and here we go, that's the uh, web page. So the latest version as of today is version 7.3. Uh, so we need to go to the download portal, and uh, it will require you to register. Uh, and the registration process is very straightforward. You just provide an email, nickname, and answer a couple of questions. And after you do this, uh, you will get uh, you will get to install whichever version you want. So let's actually download the latest version, which is seven point three point one. We will leave this detail, and because the uh, download takes some time, so we'll assume that you already have done this step. And if this is completed uh, in your downloads folder, uh, you will get um, a tar package. Uh, like this. As I said, I'm downloading 7.3.1, which is the most recent as of today. There is a tiny update we need to do uh, to our uh, Linux uh, before we actually um, be, we do the installation. So we might type sudo apt update, provide your password. Uh, it takes some time to update, you know, the repos. And once this is completed, this should be fast. Yes. Uh, once this is completed, uh, we will install a tiny software that's needed for Quantum Espresso to, to work. Uh, this is taking some time. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's uh, clear the screen. Uh, what we want is a sudo apt install. Uh, get so we need get to be installed and in my case it's actually installed but in, if you have been following the steps we presented on the, over the previous videos uh, your lab your your machine your Ubuntu might not have it so right now I do have it and it's uh, you know it's, uh, it's ready to use but in your case it will ask you whether you want to continue the installation so you type Y Y means yes, and, and it will be installed. Now let's get back to Quantum Espresso so we can move the tar to our software folder. In fact, uh, because I already installed it, so I'm gonna uh, um, move it to my software and some test folder, uh, which I'm using for the purpose of this video. So I will uh, move Quantum Espresso there. And I will actually go to that uh, software, to, to that uh, folder itself. We need to untar uh, this compressed folder. So tar zxvf, uh, this uh, software. So that takes a uh, few seconds to uncompress. It's a very big package, so it's done. Uh, and if you ls, you will find that there is a folder now called QE 7.3. In fact, let me clear uh, and LS one more time. So yes, it's ready here. So let's go inside this folder. Uh, the developers of Quantum Espresso made it uh, very uh, easy to install. Uh, let me just mention just one point before we do this. This is a very, very elaborate package. It has mini software. Uh, for example, there's a Nudget Elastic Band software, a Phonon software. The one that we will be using is PW, uh, which is acronym for Plain Wave uh, DFT code. Uh, there are other software here that we will not be using, but let's uh, let's just install all of them. So the first thing we need to configure the installation. So this you know this green file. So I need to type dot slash configure. And if I hit enter, what it's going to do is it will make ch check that all the folders have been downloaded correctly. Uh, it will also check uh, 
that our machine has, you know, Fortran compiler. I think it also checks that there is a C++ compiler, uh, that there is a message passing interface to be able to run simulations in parallel. So it does, and, and, and you know, other libraries like Fourier transform and linear algebra libraries, it just makes sure that all these are available. And, and once, you know, once it says that this has been successful, so it configures success, you can actually now uh, compile the code. Uh, the way you do this, of course, you can compile one piece of the code, but uh, if, you want, uh, if you want to compile all of it, uh, which we recommend, you can simply type make all. You see, in fact, let me clear first and type it. So you type make all and this is actually take some time so we will stop the recording here and we will be back once this is complete okay so the installation is complete it took about uh, 20 minutes or so on my laptop uh, this is the screen after the completion of the installation let me do ls one more time and we should go to the folder bin then that contains the binary files, the software that has been compiled. And if I do ls, you find a lot of software that's available for usage. Uh, for us, the most important one is pw.x, that's the one here. And please remember its pathway. Uh, so if I do P pwd here, uh, this is in... Uh, uh, this location on my computer so you should also remember where is the location because this is how you will be calling uh, pw.x for uh, calculations thank you so much and see you in another video